Hello again, it's me, Jordan, this guy. Okay, so, I also found out how to increase other things in this setup. You know, I was talking about how... Okay, I'll just start from the beginning. What I did here is took an iPod Touch, got Amp to... Amp, um, amp Kit Link, got the Amp Kit Link app. Open you. There we go, amp kit link app, blah, my setup, that's, that's my setup right there. Anyways, um, got this music bullet, open it up, and then connect my guitar, and then, oops, I gotta turn this on. You know, and then you could have portable lamp. Well, I also found out how you could extend the life of this portable lamp if you're on the go. Check this out. This is the Power Gen external battery. I got it for 30 bucks off of Amazon. It has a 4,400 mAh rating on it, I guess. And I've been using this for a while now. I've been testing it and stuff. It even comes with a little flashlight. I'm gonna blind you for a second there. Yay, blind. Okay, so. You can actually plug this thing in. Okay, so now that my iPod's dying as usual, I could take this cable right here and, st okay, yes, shut up. Make another sex joke. Deal with it. You take this and then you could plug it into the iPod. Sorry, um, I don't have three hands. You gotta give me a second because Apple makes it to where you need three. A third hand to actually record news at the same time. And then, let's see here, you plug this into this hole right there. You can see it. Look at that hole. And plugging it in. Shit, so bad at this, it's ridiculous. And you press this button. And then, you have unlimited juice. Not really unlimited. Really fucking long time, though, I'll tell you that. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show you that. And also, since Andrew is making videos, I should make a video of myself playing guitar and testing these theories out. And I wanted to test this for noiselessness. I'm not sure if I could really show off the noiselessness from, uh, from this standpoint using a lapel mic, but... Eh. Whatever. I'm in open C tuning again, so just bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here for you to, for you to see me. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Because I'm still not used to this camera. Or the distance it takes to actually deal with it. Let me see here. Okay, so this is the guitar. I'm using the music bullet to to, um, you know, play, blah, okay, yeah, so, this time I'm actually, uh, this time I'm actually gonna do more thorough testing of the music bullet by actually doing chords, single strings, palm mute to open notes, so on and so forth, to actually test how clean it is, right, and you'll see me, um, I'll be switching between neck pickup, um, Bridge pickup and using both of them simultaneously, I guess. Okay, give me a second. Do, 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 do. I'm not using jump cuts because I'm. Okay. Oops. 
Okay, and then this is going to be the rhythm. Let's see here. to the mix and add treble, but, you know, eh. what I don't find is it doesn't add treble, it adds mids, because the pickup is hotter and it's more near this area. See, look, there's a difference. <laughs> okay, I have both of them on. It's not a replacement for professional audio equipment because your iPod will die from using this application. Um, let's let's see what else it's missing. Okay, so the music bullet itself lasts for up to 13 hours, but your iPod is not going to last that long. It is not. So, like I said, I picked up this external battery, and then, you know, your iPod will last a whole lot longer, it'll actually last up to the amount of time with the music bullet, and also, it does not introduce any sort of noise into the mix, so, yeah, it's definitely good for the actual... Since it's it's portable, it's portable. You could instead of carrying around an amp, you could buy like a little mini backpack or something, you know. And then you could actually, or or if you just get like a, a guitar um, case, soft case or something like that, you could stick the music bullet in. You could stick the cable. I mean the instrument cable. You could stick the the. Um, external battery, you could stick the iPod in there, the amp kit link, and of course the guitar, you know. 
and it would work just nicely, really, because it's a lot. E I mean, if you're gonna go jam with someone, you're gonna need an amp. I'll tell you that right now. This thing is loud, but considering the fact that I'm playing in like a little small room because my bedroom is small, I guess. Um. You're not going to get much quality off of playing in the open. I mean, if you want to show off, like, go to the outside of a movie theater and play and stuff like that, then that would not be an issue whatsoever. But if you're going to go play live, this is not the setup for you. The reason why I'm saying this is because I have people asking me stupid questions. And also... Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just play around with it a little bit more. Till I get bored, I guess. I'll give it like five more minutes of playing time, I guess. Excuse me if I mess up. It's fucking early in the morning. It's, it's I'm, I'm doing videos at 7:40 in the morning. It's so sad. It's ridiculous. And then I gotta get to my college work in a little bit. So you know what? I hate you guys. <laughs>
let's see. I can't really play my own songs in open tuning because now I gotta... <sighs> I have to either retune my guitar or learn all the parts in open tuning, which is a big fucking problem for me because I'm so lazy. I should stop being lazy. Okay, well, I'll go do other things that I should be doing right now. And now I have to go all the way over here to press the end button. Bye.